Hello everybody, welcome to the video. In this one we're going to go over some more Yngwie style picking ideas. If you haven't watched the first one, I suggest you do. It's got some good licks in that and hopefully this one will as well. So before we press on, we need to uh, go over the tuning. So this is E flat. So we are in E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat and E flat. So get yourself tuned up and we'll get started. So this run is just going to be a single string run. It all takes place on the high E string. We're going to start on the 12th fret right here and we're going to do this pattern. Like that, so it's going to be 12, 13, 15, 12. And it's, these are all just four note patterns. Like that, uh, but what we're going to do is we're kind of going to alternate between them. So after this one, we're then going to do 8, 10, 12, 8. So like this. And then we're going to do 10, 12, 13, 10. 7, 8, 10, 7. So those four patterns together. And then we're going to do 8, 10, 12, 8 again. Like that. And then 5, 7, 8, 5. And then 7, 8, 10, 7. So all together. And then our final pattern is going to be four, five, seven, four. And then a last. We're just going to do some nice vibrato on that A note on the fifth, on the fifth fret there. So that's the whole run, kind of nice and short. Uh, I'll do it slowly a couple of times, and then see if we can do it more regular speed, but with some tabs as well. A little bit quicker. Then, and kind of like regular speed. With some tabs. This next one is in E minor, so this is modeled a lot of Far Beyond the Sun. So, for example, we're going to start here on the 24th fret, so apologies to those who don't have a 24th fret guitar. We're going to start on the 3rd string here, like that, so we're going to be going to go 24, 23, and 21. Like that, and then we're going to go 19. So it's just going to be, again, this 4-note uh, motif. Like that, and we're climbing down the scale. That's your first pattern. And then we've got 23, 21, 19, and then 17. So both together, like that. And then, as you probably guessed it, it's going to be 21, 19, 17, 16. And then 19, 17, 16, 14. So the four patterns together. I'll do that once more. Like that, and then we'll, and then we've got um, nineteen. Uh, then we've got nineteen, seventeen, sixteen, fourteen. Like that, and then se and then seventeen, sixteen, fourteen, twelve, and then fourteen. Uh, no, sorry, sixteen, fourteen, twelve, eleven. So right from the from the beginning. So, getting towards the end now, it's going to be 14, 12, 11, 9. Like that, and then 12, and then 12, 11, 9, 8. And then what, and then what we're doing, we're just doing this sort of little thing here, with this little flurry. Which, uh, how we do that is we're going to be doing 11, uh, we're going to do 11, 9, 8, but we're going to do it as a pull-up. So, it's going to so rather be, we're just going to go like this. Like that, and then we're just going to go... 10, uh, 10, 9, 7, then 10, 9, 7 again, and then 8 like that. So it's just going to be this. So it's rather be the 16th note feel, it's going to be more the 16th note triplet sort of feel. So rather me go, it's going to be more it. Like that. So that's the whole run. So from the very beginning, a little bit quicker, uh, but at a more manageable speed, it'll look like this. So 
So yeah, it's a pretty cool little run, like sort of an E harmonic minor. So if you want to play it, it'd be like. Kind of over that um, over that chord progression. So we'll do the run again, but a little bit quicker, and then see if we can do it uh, sort of uh, full speed. And then see if we can do it sort of uh, up to speed. Uh, and then we'll do it sort of a bit slow, but we'll have some tabs at the top. This final run is in E major. It's another single string run. I tend to do this at the end of Far Beyond the Sun, so you know when it does this bit. Like that. So what I do as that chord is ringing out, uh, I do this you know, single string run that goes all the way to here, uh, as if I haven't done enough shredding already. Um, so we're going to start on the fourth fret of the high E. So we're just going to... We're just going to do this pattern. So this is going to be four, fourth fret, and then open E, like that, and then two, four to end it. So again, it's this another four, it's this four note uh, pattern. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we're going to do five, two, four, five, like that. And then we're just, and then we're going to do seven, uh, we're going to do seven, four, five, seven. And then we're going to do nine, five, seven, five, uh, nine. So we should have these so far. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we've got 11, 7, 9, 11. Like that. And then we've got 12, 9, 11, 12. So that's the full first octave so far. So all together. Like that. So once we reach here, I uh, want uh, the 12th fret, we're going to do 14, 11, 12, 14. And then 16, 12, 14, 16. Like that. 17, 14, 16, 17. So all together, so just start from starting from here. Like that. And then 19, 16, 17, 19. Like that, and then 21, uh, 21, 17, 19, 21. And then our final pattern is going to be 23, tw uh, 23, 19, 21, 23. And then we're going to have a nice half step bend all the way up to 23 to 24 to resolve to that nice root note there. So that's your whole run. Um, so I'll start from here. I'll do it slowly a couple of times, and then we'll put the whole thing together. Once more, a little bit quicker. Like that. So we'll start from the very beginning and put the whole run together and see if we can uh, play at a good speed. Uh, a little bit quicker. And then see if we can do it sort of, uh, you know, in real life. Uh, and then we'll do it a little bit slow, but we'll have some tabs. I hope you found that video useful if you did give it a thumbs up and of course hit that big subscribe button down below for future videos hopefully i'll see you in the next one